Group 2 of the ICC T20 World Cup 2022 has taken a sharp turn after a big upset when Zimbabwe defeated Pakistan on Thursday. Pakistan, who is considered as one of the favourites to win the title, currently standing on verge of getting out of the tournament. India, on the other hand, after claiming a comprehensive win over Netherlands, further strengthened their chances for the semis and so did the South Africans. So without wasting any time further, let's quickly look at the possible teams who may reach the semi-finals in this special episode of Stumps and Bales with me, Vineet Vashesh. At first, Netherlands. Currently at bottom of the table after losing two out of two games, one against Bangladesh and the other one against the mighty India. However, they were quite satisfied with their performance so far in the tournament, having made their position in the Super 12 phase was a big achievement for the 17th ranked team in the world. And especially their bowlers' performance against India was also clap worthy. In a game where India decided to bat first, their bowler restricted the man in blue to cross even the 180 mark, even though Virat Kohli and Sure Kumar Yadav returned to the pavilion with no doubt tags after playing 8 overs together and Kohli was there for almost 17.2 overs. They however having next to none chances to qualify for the semis but their performance so far is quite good for the Dutch cricket. Now let's look at Pakistan. The Babar Azam led side after facing a defeat from arch rival India in a nail-biting match faced a shocker on Thursday when Zimbabwe edged them by a single run that put their chances for semis in a nutshell. The shocking defeat in a low-scoring game shuttered their confidence too, now the only chance they have to win in all their remaining games against Netherlands, South Africa and Bangladesh. Not only that, they have to win all the games with a big margin to maintain a good run rate on table. With India almost ready to go for the knockouts, the men in green have to pray that India beat the South Africa too that may keep them in semis contention. Wait, the list to rely on other teams is long as they have to pray that Zimbabwe must lose two of their remaining three games while Bangladesh lose another one. Now let's look at Bangladesh. Currently at number 4 position at the points table, the Tigers yet to face India and Pakistan in their upcoming fixtures. They however have won one game and lost one too. But after losing by 104 runs to South Africa, their net run rate faced a dent. Their run rate is the worst in the group so far and if they want to qualify, they have to win all of their remaining games but with better margins too. But as said, they yet to face India and Pakistan. Zimbabwe Zimbabwe shocked the whole cricket community after defeating the currently top-ranked better in T20 side Pakistan in a nail-biting clash where the Arabian Zimbabwe only managed to put 1-3-0 on board and when almost everyone predicted that the man in green would chase the target with ease, the Zimbabwe changed the whole scenario with their brilliance and handed their side a victory over Pakistan. For many who won't believe, Zimbabwe is currently at number 3 position at the points table with one win in two games while the other one was called off due to rain. If they win all of their remaining matches, then you never know, Zimbabwe may qualify. They however yet to face the strongest team in the group, India. Now let's look at South Africa. Tampa Bahuba South Africa were in deep dilemma when they got placed in a group alongside India and Pakistan in the Super 12 phase. With many cricket experts predicted that India and Pakistan will be the possible contenders to advance for the semis, the Proteas silently make their way to the top two, not to mention Pakistan's support in it. As if they won't lose their first two games, the Proteas would have been struggling as of now. But now, the scenario is a bit different as even after a rain-washed first game, South Africa defeated Bangladesh with a huge margin in their second game with, and with three points in two games, they will likely to qualify if they win all of their remaining matches. Although, they have to pray to rain God for no more interruptions though. They will reach to nine points if they win all and with that means, they will have to defeat India too, which is a tough task. If they lose to India, they can still earn maximum 7 points and then they have to rely on Zimbabwe who may reach 2-9 points after winning all of their upcoming games. Also a hard task. So as of now, the Temba Bumuma side is most likely to qualify from Group 2. Now look at Team India. India is in no worry right now as King Kohli is in form. Enough said, right? <laughs> Everyone knows when Virat Kohli performs and there will be no room for opponent to shine. The former Indian skipper returned to pavilion with two unbeaten tags in both of India's game in the World Cup so far. The run machine Kohli played a match-winning 82 of 53 in the opening match of India against Pakistan. 
It was Kohli who took the responsibility of chasing the target on his shoulder after India lost four wickets on 31 in a 160 run chase game and led the side to victory in a dramatic final over finish. He again remained unbeaten in Men in Blue's second game in the competition and struck a brilliant half century too. The Rohit Sharma led India is currently on top of the table and with net run rate on their side too. They have the better chances among all to qualify for the semi-finals. They have to face South Africa, Bangladesh and Zimbabwe in their remaining Super 12 games and they will start all the games as favourite and even if they lose one of them, the inaugural World Cup winning team may still qualify. The only thing they wanted in that scenario that either to beat South Africa and Zimbabwe in their remaining games. There are many games yet to be played. Still, we can see our predicted two teams may qualify for the semis. So, what do you guys think? Just share your thoughts with us by commenting down below. Thanks for watching this video and if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to Samsung Bay's YouTube channel and also don't forget to follow all our social media handles as well. That's all for today's segment. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.